Hello, this is Sarah or Water Lily 716 and I wanted to share with you guys some of my um, like December slash winter favorites today. Um, this is a mix of hair, skincare, and a little bit of beauty um, stuff. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. I thought about doing a best hair products of 2015, but I don't think the hair products I use have really changed that much. They're still pretty much the same as last year because I haven't tried out that many new lines this year. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just do a general favorites to start off the year. Starting, I have a few hair favorites. One of them is this Insight Conditioner. Um, this says it's anti-frizz hydrating conditioner and it is made in Italy. So you probably can find this if you live in Europe or if you live in Dubai. I got it at Marina Gate Pharmacy, um, but you may not be able to find it in the States. I don't know. Um, but this has a really amazing slip and whenever I had hair that was just being difficult to detangle, I would reach for this. And it was a huge bottle, so it lasted a really long time. Well, it's basically empty now. Um, it was 55 durhams here, but this is 500 milliliters, which is 16.9 fluid ounces, so that's a lot of product. Um, and yeah, it has cannabis seed oil, then it has cotton seed oil, cocoa butter, linseed extract, aka flax seed. So it has lots of good moisturizing stuff for your hair. Um, and yeah, it's pretty light in terms of moisture, so I didn't expect to get a ton of moisture from this. Um, and sometimes I would just mix it with a more moisturizing conditioner, but I really liked it for detangling. Um, and also sometimes I would use it as a leave-in, so I would definitely repurchase this. Um, so yeah, this is what the label looks like. Close up. I have one other hair favorite. That's something I sort of um, discovered recently. This is the L'Oreal El Nat Satin Hairspray. It's kind of a cult favorite online, I think. Um, but this is the super hold one, but they have it with lots of different levels of hold. But basically, this is free of silicones. It has one water-soluble silicone in it, um, and it does have a drying alcohol, but you'll find that most aerosol hairsprays are formulated with alcohols that are drying for the hair because they help the hairspray evaporate and dry really quickly. Um, but sometimes, um, when I have an updo, I really want it to stay put, even if I just want my hair to stay put for some reason I will just seal my hair with this. I don't use it all the time because it's not the greatest for my hair but I do like it um, and it does a really good job. It doesn't really smell like anything crazy just kind of a nice light fragrance um, and I like the packaging and stuff so I do recommend this hairspray. I'm pretty sure you can get it lots of different places around the world. This is what it looks like. Then I have some skincare favorites that um, I kind of change around my skincare a little bit and just stuff I've been liking. One thing that I've been liking is this Nivea In Shower Body Lotion slash Skin Conditioner. Um, and this is fun because um, you basically rub it all over your skin while you're in the shower, leave it on for a minute, and then rinse it off, and you don't have to apply lotion. And I am super lazy, so this is right at my boat. I'm kind of late to the bandwagon and like discovering this. Um, but yeah, I really like this and I will definitely be repurchasing it. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's really nice. It works well. Um, and it leaves my skin feeling really soft. So it's great. In shower body lotion from Nivea. And as far as skin stuff, I have one face wash that I've really been liking. Um, and from a combination of probably not sleeping enough slash stress, um, my face was really breaking out during the last couple of months. Um, so I picked up this Clean Clear Deep Cleansing Foam Wash. Um, this is oil free um, and it has salicylic acid in it. It doesn't have anything really crazy in the ingredients. It's not super expensive, but um, it's a nice foam wash, a really nice texture. Gets up all my makeup really well and I really think it's helped cut down on the breakouts, which I don't know if they're hormonal or stress related or what, but this I think has helped calm my skin down and clear up some of those breakouts. You can't see any of them because I'm wearing makeup, but um, so I do like this. I got it over here, um, so I'm not sure if the Clean and Clear in the US makes the same exact thing, but they probably make something similar. Um, I know Aveeno also does a, a foam wash similar to this, um, but yeah, I really like it and I love the texture of foam washes. They just feel so soft and so um, luxurious on your face. feels really good. So I'm definitely liking this cleanser and I'll probably repurchase it. And another sort of basic skincare thing. Um, is this 
Moisturizer from Aveeno. Um, this has been one of my favorites for a while, but I just recently repurchased it. This is their Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer um, with sunscreen. This one's SPF 15. I think they might also do an SPF 30 version, um, but I really like this. It's just a really nice daily moisturizer to put under your makeup. If you're not wearing makeup, just a moisturizer to wear, which is really important for me because I live in a really sunny place. Um, and I also use this on just going to the beach or something, um, although the SPF 30 version is a little better. But yeah, I really like this moisturizer. I had been using it for a while, but I wasn't able to repurchase till I took my trip back to the States during the holidays. And I'm very happy to have it in my life again. It just sinks in really easily. It doesn't make your skin sticky or anything. Um, and it just it just kind of smells faintly of sunscreen, but not like in an overpowering way. So yeah, do recommend this. And I recently switched up my eye cream, and I tried this one from Nuxe Nux. I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but this is their smoothing eye contour cream, and it's supposed to remove wrinkles, de-stress, eliminate, and be anti-dark circle. Um, I haven't noticed like an amazing improvement in my under eye area, which is where I tend to have some dark circles. But um, I do think it really hydrates and lifts and firms, um, and it really feels great. It's like a light eye cream. I don't know if you can see. It's just a nice light eye cream, um, and it has a lot of really nice ingredients um, that were on the bottle. <laughs> I don't remember what it has in it right now. Um, but this is what it looks like, and I am really enjoying it. I've been using it for several months, um, and we'll probably repurchase this one. So yeah, I got this at Sephora in Dubai, but I don't know which lines transfer, but I assume it does. I just have one more skincare favorite. This is a really fun one. This is the Beauty Formulas Nourishing Mediterranean Olive Peel Off Facial Mask. And it's supposed to moisturize and revive and kind of remove anything clogged in your pores. Um, and this stuff is really fun. Um, it's not crazy expensive and it doesn't have like really crazy natural ingredients or anything. Um, the one natural thing it has is olive oil PG7 esters. Um, and I mean it does have glycerin and moisturizing alcohols. But basically it's this kind of noxious smelling mask that's clear. But you kind of gloop it over your whole face and you let it dry. It kind of tightens. And then after like 10 to 15 minutes you peel it off basically. And it's really fun and the results are really nice. It leaves my skin really soft and really rejuvenated feeling. And yeah, I definitely think it does what it's supposed to and it's not too expensive. I got it from Life Pharmacy over here, um, but this is made in the UK. I don't really know if this reaches the US, but I know there are lots of peel-off masks you can try. Um, but I like this one a lot um, and I like what it does for my skin. So definitely recommend it. And I just have one more favorite. Um, this is the Maybelline New York Master Conceal by Face Studio. I don't know, but I got it in shade 10 Fair. Um, just looks like this. It is the lightest shade, I believe. Um, and yeah, I have it under my eyes today and I think it does a really good job of covering my under eye circles and brightening the area. It's a little bit brighter than my actual skin tone. Um, yeah, it doesn't really settle into fine lines or anything. It just looks very nice and kind of camouflages that area, which is pretty dark. I wouldn't say it's my all-time favorite concealer. I think my all-time favorite is probably the MAC Studio one, I believe. Whatever their highest coverage concealer is, that one is like amazing, but this one is really easy to pick up and I like it a lot. I picked it up when I was in the US. So do recommend this one. So those are my recent favorite sort of things I've been loving for the past couple months. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any recent hair favorites or beauty favorites or anything, just what you've been loving recently. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.